hello everyone so uh, I'm back with a new tutorial which is a uh, code igniter community auth integration so basically uh, you know earlier uh, tank auth was a popular uh, authentication plugin that was used with code igniter 2 uh, and earlier version but uh, once after the release of code igniter 3 we we don't have the support for tank auth so we have moved to a community auth so uh, let's try to integrate it so uh, you know to brief you about the community auth so it's actually uh, built for the coordinator 3 version itself uh, so and they, the the site also says that if if you want to look for the older version of coordinator 2 so then we have the list of repositories in the bucket uh, bit bucket so basically the core uh, features of this uh, community auth plugin as you know it has a user authentication it has ACL that is access control uh, level uh, it also has the uh, you know limits of failed login attempts it also has the feature to deny access by IPs and uh, persistent login and uh, forgot password name and username recovery <clears throat> so basically in this tutorial I'll be only explaining you about uh, how do we integrate how do we download the uh, uh, community auth library which is a third party library from communityauth.com and uh, how do we uh, download the uh, code igniter 3 and you know integrate both of them i'll not be covering the detailed aspect of how do how do you uh, work with the access grant levels how do you use the acls etc for that stay tuned for the more updates so that i'll be doing another video for that because you know it will it will stretch a lot uh, so and uh, do watch the full video because you know at the end of the video I will be also sharing you the working uh, uh, download URL uh, using which you can directly uh, download the source code and you can just plug and play the whole application the whole code igniter 3 application so uh, let's try to download I do have the downloaded uh, zips so let me just uh, open them up so before that I have created like you know I am I am used to uh, use a virtual host so that's the reason so I have uh, kept the virtual host ready virtual host configured for the community auth tutorial so let me just find out the code igniter application So it's here let me just copy paste it here let me delete this off I'll extract the uh, code igniter 3.1.0 over here so I'll just move all these files to the parent folder so that you know I don't want the double code igniters <coughs> Uh, so once this is done uh, let me just check if yes so this is working so I mean we have uh, downloaded the code igniter from the official code igniter uh, uh, website and you know we I have just dumped whatever was a zip file and you know, now code igniter is set up so the next thing is uh, we need to download the uh, community auth library uh, I, I also have downloaded this so let me just open that up so this is the one that I downloaded so what we are supposed to do is that uh, navigate to application folder and under application we do have something called as third party so just paste the downloaded uh, library here and extract them so once extracted uh, you get this folder so cut it and paste it over this is my application and paste it over here you can delete you can delete them so this is not required so once this is done uh, so I guess you have the community auth third party library so we will need to merge the uh, we will need to basically merge this particular folders which are present over here so you need to copy them just copy 
and you need to merge them in the your original code igniters application folder so I'll say paste so it will ask me if I'm working with Windows it will ask me uh, the destination already contains a folder name config and uh, config and do you want to merge them so just tick mark to do this for all the current items and say yes and then say uh, copy and replace so now what you have done is you have uh, taken you have uh, copied the third party library of community auth to the third party folder of the application and you know you have uh, pulled back all those extracted files from the third party and you have pasted them over the application of your code igniters root so now what you are supposed to do is um, you are supposed to uh, let me create a database uh, I do have uh, created a database so the database file is somewhere here yeah it's here SQL and under SQL there is something called as install so what uh, you are supposed to do is you know no not this hang on yeah under uh, under SQL you have something called as install so just control A and then paste them here if you can see I have already pasted and I have already created a, a database name called community auth and have copied these to that schema so what I'll do is that I'll go here go to application go to config and then database so in database I need to make some changes I need to provide the username I need to provide the database name which is uh, community auth so I'll save it this is the community auth database I have given and uh, the other thing what I was I would like to do is just just cross check if I'm not missing anything from the uh, documentation of the installation in community auth uh, so once that is done uh, we need to auto load the packages so basically you need to modify the auto load.php file we may get we may run into some issues so uh, we can look at them once they occur so I'll just paste the corresponding auto loads I mean be it the libraries packages helpers configs etc so this is a library now I'll be pasting the helper um, next one is a config so I'll be pasting the config over here and we do have uh, to auto load the model as well so I'm copying the model related stuff it's here and we'll paste the model which is a auth model and after that we need to add a route to the login uh, page so which can be added from config routes.php so just at the end of the page you need to add this line and uh, once that is done you will be having to add the hooks so the hooks uh, are in config hooks folder so once this is done so like you have added the hooks the predefined hooks thing but you need to enable the hooks so by default hooks are false you need to enable the hook 
so once we have enabled the hook uh, and I do have the uh, um, SQL also run SQL script run on my machine so I have taken care of that and we also need to add the uh, encryption key so this is just a uh, anything I mean you can just add it's just anything encryption key so I'll add from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so this is a 10 digit encryption key that I have added and uh, I also need to add the index I mean base URL so let me add that and just copy paste from my other app this is application and in application I have config.php somewhere yes it's here so what I'll do is I'll just copy paste the same thing over here in the other config let me see if I'm referring to the right directory application config config.php and we do have something called as base URL so let me replace it with a server host I mean HTTP host you might run into some issues in case if you're uh, not using the uh, virtual host in that case do let me know if you face any issues in the comments below so that I can get back to you on your issue <coughs> so once this is done let's open up and see what exactly comes up so this is working fine so I'll say yo this worked so it's as simple as that so what we can do is that we can create a user in order to create a user what you are supposed to do is uh, go to controllers there is something called as examples.php the controller name is examples and uh, we do have a method called create user yeah it's here so you can modify the username password and email uh, so once that is done so let me just try to create a user it should throw an error because uh, yeah it throws it threw an error so username already is in use and email address already in use so I have the I have run this particular statement once and you know it's a it's a unique so you, you, if you can see here so I'll just try to add I'll just try to modify the username and password I'll say test123 and then test12345 as a password and I'll say email as test at example.com so actually I would also like to show you you know it also has the validation thing uh, so let me just try to show that as well so I'll say create user see uh, it, it throws an error also if, if the password doesn't match the number uh, prerequisites say you know it should at least be eight characters it should be having one number one lowercase and one uppercase so what I'll do is that I'll try to add a capital as per the prerequisite that we have and now I'll try to create a user cool it was created so let's just go and re-verify if it was created as intended so let me try yo here you see so this is the user ID and uh, this is the password email etc so what we'll try to do is we'll try to log in using the user that we created just now so the username is test123 and the password was test12345 I'll just open up the console 
as uh, there is an instruction here and you know it's a javascript based login i mean ajax based login yeah my I, I forgot to do a, a one more change it's in examples.php line number 523 let's go there examples.php line number 523 uh, I'm not using a mod rewrite so that's the reason I need to add index.php over the server calls uh, uh, ajax calls you can say so I'll add the index.php here so basically it depends on you if you're using you're not supposed to uh, if you're not using a mod rewrite you're supposed to use the index.php but if you are then you can skip using that so I'll say what was the user just okay it's test one two three I guess yeah it's test one two three and uh, the password was test one two three four five I guess that has to be test one two three four five cool you can see that the user is now logged in and the console says so it returns the email id of the logged in user his access level his role his status his user id and his password uh, sorry his username so this is the ajax space login and uh, we do have the logout as well here so again i i think i also need to add the index.php over here let me add that what i can do is i can add the index.php right at the base url so that you know it redirects me properly so i'm logged in now and that's the reason it's showing me logout option here uh, no doubt the success message is gone because you know it's a javascript and the whole go uh, dom got reloaded since i refreshed so i log off and it says i have logged out successfully uh, it also has various other uh, features like you know if you don't have your uh, if you have forgotten your email address uh, I mean if you have forgotten your password so you can enter your email address and retrieve your password uh, so even that feature is there and also simple verification is there like you know um, say this is an optional login I mean this page is seen by all users by a public users and say if you click on simple verification so this page will be seen only when the person is logged in so let's try to do that let's try to test even I have not tested this so I'm logged in now see here earlier it was throwing me an error because you know I was not logged in so now the simple verification just returned a page saying that the customer is logged in and you know he it has listed down his details the customer details so uh, yeah this is it i mean it's quite simple so uh, i'll be sharing the url of this complete working application in the description below uh, you can you know try running that you can just plug and play you can use this as your you know a blueprint application and you can start working on the rest of the other things so this is a community auth plugin it's a good uh, and you know if you're you're trying to um, code with the earlier version of code igniter which is uh, about two or less then i think i would recommend uh, tank auth is the best one so uh, this is it guys uh, if you face any kind of issues then do let me know in the comment section below and uh, stay tuned for more updates please share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching have a nice day bye bye